Hello, my name is Rio Daniel, and I am a Go High Level Affiliate, and in this video, my goal is to show you five different options that you have inside of High Level, five different services that you can sell very quickly, very easily to small business owners because, number one, they need it. So before we get started, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please click the subscribe link below. I really do appreciate your support. So right now, in this particular video, I'm going to go over five different options that you have inside of the high-level platform, five different basic technology services that you can offer a small business that they will pay you for every month. And all of these services compound on each other. So you can charge one for one service. If they want to buy three services, you could charge them even more, so forth and so on. But before we get into the actual services, what I'd like to do is kind of hop into the psychology of why small business owners would want these particular services. Now. I'm going to digress a little bit and just kind of say that I am a huge fan of Tony Robbins. So if you don't know who Tony Robbins is, go take a look about it. He's kind of a, a coach. He has a lot of great things to talk about. But one of the things I've learned from Tony Robbins is that people have motivations to do two different things. Number one, they will move toward pleasurable things and they will avoid painful things. Now, in this kind of case, we're not going to be talking about the pleasurable things. That's not what we're going to talk about in this video. For small business owners, what we want to talk about is how they will pay you to avoid pain or pain points in their business. What are the things that they do in their business that they really don't like to do, or they might suck at, or they may not be any good at, or they may not have time for? It could be any one of these situations. But bottom line is, that is the psychology of what we're going to do when we're going to be addressing these particular five services with high level with regards to the small business owner. Now, moving forward with this, again, I'm going to be talking about five services. I actually lied. I'm going to just tell you that right off the bat. I'm lying to you. I'm going to go over six. But you'll have to wait till the last little bit of the video to get the sixth one. But the five ones I'm going to talk about here is the very first one is going to be what we call Miss Call Text Back. Now, all of these services that we're going to be talking about here are really going to be geared towards solving a particular business problem. If they're not going to solve a business problem, why would an owner want to hire you? So one thing to think about here, why would they want to hire you if you do not solve a problem that they have? So number one, there's a new a feature in high level called miss call text back, which basically means that if somebody tries to call the business and the business does not respond or answer, that there's an automated process that can follow up with that particular customer, mostly via text. It can be email as well, but mostly via text that will allow you to sit back and communicate with that customer to prevent them from going to the next name in the list. Now, think about this. If you are a consumer, if you are looking for a particular service, let's just say that, you know, right now, it's in the, the, the July, the month of July right now, so it's hot, probably hot across the country. What happens if your AC stops working? You know, and you start calling people, your AC stops working, you're hot, you want somebody to come out and fix it, you start calling people on the list, you know, HVAC people, you call this person, and of course, you know, they're so busy right now that everybody's ACs are broken that they're not going to respond. They're not going to sit back and uh, give you a call back until maybe later on in the day, or maybe not ever. Believe it or not, here is a statistic that you can actually use for your business. 60%, you got six zero, sixty 60% of all calls made to small businesses go unanswered meaning they either don't pick up the phone or they leave a message and they don't call you back. Wow, just think about that. That's huge, 60% of all calls go unanswered to a small business. So as a consumer, if you were making a phone call and your AC was out, would you stop at the first person, leave a voicemail and wait for that person to call you back for two or three days? No, you wouldn't. You would go to the next person on that list, the next person on that list until you got somebody on the phone that can get an appointment set up with you and actually book a time for them to come out and fix your particular system as quickly as possible. So that's exactly what the missed call text back feature is meant for. So if somebody tries to call and you don't answer, then basically the system can respond with a certain preset message. This preset message could be anything that you want it to be. And I'll show you how that works inside of the high level system here, but it could be anything that you want it to be. Now, ultimately the goal of this is to stop the customer or consumer from calling the next prospect on the list. Because what you want to be able to do, just imagine this. Imagine if you're a consumer, you just call a company, let's just call it ABC uh, Heating and Cooling, you know, just for the lack of a better name. So you call ABC Heating and Cooling, it rings, it rings, it rings. Hello, you've reached ABC Heating and Cooling, I'm sorry, bah, click, they hang up the phone. Because they're like, guess what, I'm not going to leave a message, I need somebody now, right now to fix my AC system. So you hang up the phone and you start looking on Google and you start looking at, okay, here's the next number on the list. And while you're dialing, guess what happens? A little text message comes through, bloop, bloop. Hello, I'm so sorry, this is ABC Heating and Cooling. We were unable to receive your phone call, but we really want to be able to help you out in your time of need. Can you please tell me, is this an emergency or a normal service call? It could be something as simple as that. 
Now, of course, if somebody gets that message and they're dialing another person, they're going to go to their text message and go, emergency. So, and then once that happens, you basically now interacted and engaged with that consumer, allowing you to continue the conversation, stopping them basically from going to the next name on the list, and hopefully have a very good percentage of being able to get their business as long as you can follow up with them in a quick and timely manner. So again, this is one of the easy features to, to, uh, to sell because most businesses nowadays, sometimes either number one, they're not big enough to have their own receptionist or their own person answering the phone or the phone call goes directly to the owner and the owner is an owner operator. Maybe they're out in the field, they're working, uh, they're doing a new install, they're re doing repairs and they simply can't get to the phone right now and they'll try to respond to your phone call later in the day. Now, remember that just a, just a minute here about returning the phone call share. I'm gonna come back to that. but. Right now, just imagine that if that's the case, that you as a business owner don't need to sit back and answer the phone. You can feel comfortable as a business owner knowing that you have an automated system, high level, answering that phone call for you, getting that person engaged, and getting them to schedule a call. Now, obviously, if it's an emergency, then you would have to have some kind of system set up in the back end behind high level inside of your automations that would let the owner operator know that this is an emergency. And then if they know it's an emergency, maybe they can step away and make a quick phone call to let you know, say, hey, you know, I know it's an emergency. We're, we're out doing emergency calls right now. You know, Let me see what we can do to fit you in. And that right there would at least let the owner know that that service is an emergency. Now, if it wasn't an emergency and it was a normal service call, then you know perhaps you can sit back and wait till later on in the evening or even the next day to sit back and call that particular person back and potentially win their particular business. Now, that's just one small thing that you can do to help solve a business problem that most small business owners have is the inability to answer that phone call not only during normal business hours. I didn't say that. This is 24-7. High Level is a 24-7 system that is responding to all phone calls. Even if it comes in at 9, 10, 11 o'clock, 3 in the morning, if they're calling you, they get this particular same service. So what does this mean? Just keep this in mind here. Think about this. If some services are losing business by not being able to respond to customers after hours, what do they do? They get an answering service, right? They have an answering service that answers their phone calls after night, and all the answering service does is just basically get name, phone number, email, you know, information, problem, whatever, and then send an email to the owner saying, hey, you know, this right here is what we received from a person who called, and just try to give them a call back as soon as possible. Well, what good does that do if all they do is collect information? Because guess what? High level can do that for you. The high level automation system workflow can sit back and gather the exact same information and reduce the cost of that particular business owner needing an answering service. So if they're paying $100, $200, believe it or not, even $400 or more for answering services, depending upon how many minutes they get, it's crazy, but you can actually save them that monthly cost every month and roll that into their plan that you're going to set them up on with the high level platform, hopefully with this particular missed call text back service, as well as a couple of other services I'm going to be talking about here in just a little bit. So you can kind of see if you're ever talking to somebody, these are the kind of benefits and services that you can offer small businesses and how you can sit back and benefit them and solve a pain point in their business by being able to answer that phone and respond to customers 24 seven inside of an orderly fashion. So I hope you can kind of understand just the power of this, this very first service called the missed call text back service. So right now what I want to do is just real quick kind of show you um, how easy it is to sit back and set that up inside of the Go High Level platform. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. So here we're inside of one of our demo accounts and right now each particular account um, that we have inside of high level represents a particular business more specifically a business location so if you have a customer that has three different locations they may very well not always they may very well need three separate accounts to represent those three different locations because each location may have its own phone number its own website and its own stuff going on with it so it's up to you to depend upon how uh, that particular company is set up whether or not they need one sub account or they may need three in this example but here if we simply go down to our settings options here and we simply come over to our business profile, we know if we scroll down here to the very bottom, this right here, this is how simple it is. Miss call text back. All we have to do is check this box. Yes, I want this feature on this account. And what is it going to say? Here's exactly what this is going to say inside of the text message that the consumer actually gets back whenever they text. So you can kind of see, you can customize this to whatever you want. Some of these things actually, if you look at this right here, this is sort of a, a way of pulling business information. If you want to have like your company name or your company phone number or other pieces of information that are pretty much standard that you've already entered into high level, this is a great way of adding that to the message. But it just says, hi, this is ABC Heating and Cooling. I saw we just missed your call. How can I help? 
Now, again, we kind of customize this in the example, you know, is this an emergency or is this a service call? You can customize that particular thing right here. And as soon as you check that box, enable it, boom, it is set up and ready to go. Now, one of the more important things that you're probably asking yourself is, how much can you charge for this? Well, that's a very interesting question here. Now, my default is you should never charge anything under $100 a month for any of these services that you have at a bare minimum. Bare minimum, guys. You should never charge more than $100 a month for these particular services. Why? Because let's just take the heating and cooling industry that we talked about in this example here. If they miss a customer, let's just say if it's a service call, there is something called an, a customer lifetime value that most businesses have. Now, depending upon the business, if you're dealing with Starbucks, your customer lifetime value may not be as much as a heating and cooling company because heating and cooling companies could charge you you know, anywhere, probably where from $500 from a basic, you know, service call up to $10,000 or more dollars on a replacement for a heating and cooling system. Now, one of the numbers that I have off the top of my head is the average across the nation for the customer lifetime value for a heating and cooling company is $2,000. So just imagine that. Imagine that every call that you get, every customer that you lose, every person you don't respond to is $2,000 flush right down the toilet. Imagine that. That's a lot of money. So, would a company pay you $100 to do this? I certainly would hope so. If the business owner is intelligent, they would, because they would see that the cost of that is well worth, at least if I get one customer a month, just saving me one customer from calling me every month. And not only that, remember I told you I'd follow back up with this, but if the second reason, the pain point is, at the end of the day, imagine if you're a heating and cooling company and you're an owner operator, you might have five, 10, 20, 30 messages that you have to return at the end of the day. This is the end of the day when you're dealing with 12, 15 you know, hour days where you're dealing with heating and cooling and you're sweating and you just feel nasty. Nobody wants to deal with that. The owner operator doesn't want to sit back and call 10, 20, 30 people back. That's the reason why the percentage of 60% of the uh, calls go unanswered. That's one of the main reasons why. Because people just, they're too busy and they just don't have the time to call people back. So here's where you're saving them the hours of time, hours. Imagine if you're calling 30 people back and the average phone call takes let's just say five minutes at the low end, that's 150 minutes. That's over two hours of time that you're spending. And I'm just trying to give you like little statistics because these are the things that the business owners are thinking about in their head. Is It's saving me two to three hours of time after work, never having to respond to these people because this automated system is doing it for me. And it's doing it in real time. And I don't need to have an answering service because it does it for me. So it, it's saving me $400 a month from an answering service. It's saving me two to three hours worth of work. And it's getting me more customers. All of those lead to a no-brainer to say, yes, I want this service. I need this service. So this right here is exactly why High Level created this because it... The company realized, high level realized that small business owners have a problem. They have a problem because they are busy doing things and they don't always have time to sit back and and uh, deal with these every single day. You know, they're trying to grow their business, but at some point, you know, they need help. And this is where you can help with the high level system. So I hope that makes sense. I hope this is the first thing right here, as far as services goes, kind of makes sense about how easy it is to sit back and sell people, small business owners on high level and just the missed call text back feature. The next service we're going to talk about within high level is going to be reputation management. Now this goes back to really Google reviews. Talking about reviews, it could also be Facebook reviews as well. But for the most part, when you're talking about reputation management, Google reviews is sort of the king of the castle. It's the best type of review that you can get. Now, if you're dealing with, with uh, reputation management, some of the small businesses have a really poor, if not zero system of asking and requesting for reviews. So what you end up finding is that companies have very little reviews on their on their uh, Google My Business site. And that's just simply because they don't have a system put in place to sit back and ask, request for it, and to follow up with people. Now, I'm gonna sit back and ask you to think of you as a consumer, you. Again, you're dealing with heating and cooling because that's what we've been kind of talking about. Your heating is out and you sit back and you're looking for somebody to help you with it. And you actually look at several businesses side by side. One business has 10 Google reviews and another one has a thousand. And then let's just say they're both five star. Let's just say one has 10 five star reviews. The other has a thousand five star reviews. Now, let me just ask you, which one would you choose? You're going to choose the one for a thousand five star reviews. Why? Because obviously if more people have taken the time to sit back and give these person a review, then they're obviously probably better than the other company or they've been in business longer or they're bigger or better. Take your pick. Either one of these having more Google reviews is complete and total social proof 
that your business is better than somebody else's. Now, here's one of the, uh, the scary statistics. And I don't have a number for you, but Google pretty much tells you that people will take strangers' reviews on Google as fact, just as if they're a friend or family. Imagine that. They will look at a review and accept, they, may, they have no clue who this person is that left a review. But if you're leaving a thousand reviews, they're going to look at each one of these and say, wow, great service. They showed up on time, did a great job, and everything about their service was excellent. You're not, you don't know who these people are, but you're going to believe what they say. Why? Because Google is the back-end system that's performing all of these reviews and you trust Google. So the Google reviews that you have, literally the more Google reviews you have, the more customers you are looking to get, period. That's how it works with when you're dealing with reputation management. Now, again, if you're dealing with heating and cooling, even if you're just one person in a truck, you might be an owner operator, you might be the only person, you might have two trucks, you might have five trucks. Bottom line is you're probably too busy out performing and doing service calls to sit back and try to request a good review afterwards. I find it very difficult to believe that some business owners have the systems put in place where they can leave like a QR code, like a little business card with a QR code saying, please just scan this card and leave us a great review if you think we did a great job. And then not only that, to follow up with them if they don't give a review. So here's the benefit that High Level has. High Level has a built-in reputation management system that allows you to sit back and not only request a review, you send requests, but now you can have an automation, a workflow that follows up with them. And again, you don't want to bug them but it could be a day, it could be follow up a day later, follow up two days later, something like that. But the goal is, if you're dealing with heating and cooling, you may deal with, let's just say, five service calls a day per truck. And I'm just trying to be on average. You do five service calls every single day, and your business has five trucks. I'm just going to use that as an example. That's 25 customers per day that you can possibly get to. So 25 customers per day times 30 days, you know, you do the math, six, you know, 600 and something, 650 plus people that you've serviced that particular month. How many of those people do you think you should be getting in reviews every month? Wouldn't it be nice to get 600 new five star or you know reviews every single month because you just at least followed up with the people because your business does a great job and you want the people are more than willing to say, hey, these people did a great job if you just simply ask them. But the problem is most people are just worried about getting the problem fixed. Like most business owners, I just want to fix the problems, give you an invoice, have you pay for it, and then maybe ask you for a review. But again, you give you give the customer no way of leaving you a review that's very easy, like clicking a link. So this right here is where the reputation management services of high level shines because you can sell this to companies. You can sell it to them as, hey, do you realize that other businesses in your area have 10 times or more reviews than you? And this is really gonna lead to a customer choosing them over you simply because you don't have as many customer reviews, even though you have a five-star review rating. So this right here is the problem that small business owners have is how to sit back and have a system to collect, follow up, and communicate with all these 600 plus people every month that they're servicing to simply get a review and to do it in an automated fashion. So let's take a look and see how high level does this. Now, I'm gonna hop back into this particular screen. Actually, you know what, let me start here. Let me start here at this screen. So right now what I wanna do is, I just simply uh, queried heating and cooling companies near Atlanta, Georgia. So I don't live near Atlanta, just to let you know. I'm just queried that just as a random town. So here's one of the ones I found is, you've got this Hope Heating and Cooling, they're 318 reviews at five star, but you've got this one right here, Indoor Exports, 85 reviews. 4.9, that's pretty good, right? 85 reviews, that's pretty good at 4.9. But now you come down to this one, 6,656 at a 4.7, wow. How many, 85, you know, 6656 6, 6, divided by 85 is how many times? I don't even wanna calculate that. But you can kind of understand, if these, if these are the two businesses that people are looking at, which one do you think you're gonna choose? It's probably gonna be the cool rate heating and cooling because 6,656 people have raised their hand and said, this company does a good job. That's exactly what it means. And here, only 85 people. So that right there, and you could go up and down, you could scroll this. I mean, you can see that there are other people with thousands, you know, what is this, 400, 899? There's other people out there with 10 times as many reviews, if not more, that simply are, shows that, you know, Google's saying that they're better than another company just because of the number of reviews they have. And this could just be because of the, the company is better. They have a system put in place for asking and getting Google reviews. So if you come inside of the high level system, notice if you come over here, there is a menu option over here called reputation. If you click on reputation, this right here is sort of your reputation dashboard. You can simply come over here to request, click send review request. 
you have a contact name, you can simply fill out. This would be any contact that you have. So they would already be in your CRM system. You would just choose that particular person. It would populate their phone, their email, review. You can say send it via SMS request or send it via email request. I would always recommend SMS request if you've received sort of permission for them to send them an, uh, an SMS request. If you have not, meaning like if they haven't opted into a form or opted into your campaign, you, know, you might want to try it, but sometimes it, they've really cracked down. They've developed something called A2P 10 DLC registration, which is how businesses communicate with consumers. And as part of the high level uh, reputation management, you are required to go through that for every phone number that you have to send uh, text messages and so, so forth out to consumers. This is just a part of the regulation, so they do monitor that. And, but I would definitely recommend if you can send an SMS request because SMS requests are very easy. They get a text message, there's a link, they click on the link on their phone, it goes right out and opens up a five star, uh, opens up the Google review, they click five stars, they go to the, the comment area and they say, you know, they type in, hey, this company was really great, they fixed my company, they came out quickly, they did a great job at reasonable prices, blah, blah, blah. You know, I would definitely hire these per people or use these people again. But this right here is where you would actually send the request. And this right here, now again, this example, I don't have any because this is a demo account. But you would see in this area all of the people that you've sent a request out to. Now, inside of the automations area, which is over here, and I'm not going to dive into that right now. But inside of here, this is where the workflows are. And you can simply have a workflow that you can simply uh, have them uh, follow up with. This is a, an automation process. I can send them a, a text message once a day for a week if you wanted to. Send them an email or something like that that would get them, you know, if they, maybe the first day is not a good time for them to leave a review, but maybe the second day if you send them a text message, then, oh, okay, great, you know, I was busy before, I didn't have a chance to it, I meant to get back to it, but now I'm gonna go ahead and do it. But it's just a follow-up system that allows you to sit back and have all of these reviews. And you can cl click on the review area. This right here is where you would actually sit back and see all the reviews that you got and so forth. And some of the great things about this reputation management is you can also create what they call a reputation management widget, which is something that most people have to pay for. If you ever go to a website and you see somebody has a testimonials area where they see all the Google reviews on their website, this right here, this is a way, this widget right here inside of High Level is a way for you to add that testimonial code to their particular website if they already have one. Now that's just another benefit that you can give them on top of getting them more Google reviews. So again, imagine if you combine the missed call text back with review management or reputation management, sorry, what you can start charging these people. And we are only at service two of five, I mean six, hang in there with me. So we'll take a look at these, but you can kind of see the power of these services of how easy it is to sell these to people because why? Small businesses need them. Awesome. So let's take a look at number three. Hey, real quick guys, if you're looking to start your own software company, then click on my free course in the link below. I'm gonna teach you eight ways that you can start your own software company very easily with no money out of pocket, no experience, and absolutely no tech skills. Check it out, click the link below, and let's get back to the video. So the third service that High Level really does well at that small businesses can really utilize is something that I've just spoke about, websites. It's amazing how many small business owners do not have a website to represent the company out to the public, you know, on the internet, as well as provide basic information that consumers may need to determine whether or not they want to do business with you. How many times have they went to the Google My Business site and not have a website listed? Well, number one, there's multiple problems with this. First of all, Google will, will hurt you on your ranking and listing on Google My Business if you don't have a website listed. That's one of the things that Google does limit you on because they figure websites are so cheap. You can almost get them for free nowadays. So you should definitely have one regarding your business and you should definitely have one just uh, to sit back and, and help customers and consumers go visit your site online and determine whether or not they want to do business with you if, you know, depending on if you answer all their questions or not or if you have the right services. Now keep in mind, let's just say a consumer goes to your website and your website says, you know, we are a commercial heating and cooling company. Well, number one, if it's a residential company, a residential business, then obviously they don't want you because you are a commercial heating and cooling company. You don't deal with residences. So they can just simply go and look at another person right off the bat. This is just an example of one way of how your website can let consumers know what services you provide and is it right for them. So websites are just a great way to get in the door to sell. This is like a beginning service with all the stuff that I'm gonna show you inside of High Level, the free templates that you can just simply create a template, connect, put a logo up and their website is up and going in just you know, probably an hour. You can sell them as a one-time service to build their website. And then I'm gonna show you in the next service we're gonna talk about, I'm not gonna get there yet, but we're gonna show you how you can build an add-on to that website to help them get more customers. But if they don't have a website, then that's a problem. 
because they're losing customers because customers want to be able to sit back and do their own research regarding a company. They don't want to sit back and have to call and ask a bunch of questions because they feel if they call, they're going to be sold on something. You know, people are going to be more biased when they answer the phone about, you know, no, you need our services. Well, we have to come out and look at the problem first before we can diagnose it. Blah, 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 blah. So right now, people love going to your website because it's a quick way of saying, can this person uh, satisfy my particular need? You know, are they the right fit for me? Great. And they can do some background research. Maybe your business has some FAQs and things like that on your site that can help answer their questions. And then as a result of that, they may want to call you and engage you in your services once they particularly see your website. But if you don't have one, then that's a problem. So right now, let's go ahead and take a look and see how High Level can help small businesses develop and build websites. So here we are inside of our demo account, and over here on the left, we're going to go to this uh, menu option called Sites. Now, Sites has a lot of different things. I don't want you to get distracted by the menus, but right now we have a button called Websites. Now, inside of here, you can have really as many websites in high level as you want for each particular business, but most businesses really only need one. So right now, let me go ahead and kind of show you some of the power of this. So if I want to create a new website, it's really just as simple as just creating new. And I can say, do I want to build it from scratch or do I want to use a template? Hmm. I want to use a template because I don't want to work that hard. So I'm going to use a template and I'm going to click continue. Now, here's a whole, what they call the template library inside of high level. You got all these categories, automotive, beauty, fashion, business coaching, and you get all these particular different website templates that you can utilize. So right now, let's go ahead up here and look at, let's just type in heating, oh, HVAC. So here in the templates, what we're going to look at here, so we, we're going to go under home services here, it looks like. I'm going to blow this up a little bit. If we click on home services, home services kind of really includes plumbers, electricians, HVAC. So let's just take a look. Lawn, roofing. Here we go. HV, HVAC repair services, uh, plumbing services, HVAC services. So let's just say we want to do HVAC services. So here we might want to take a look at this. And if we wanted to, we could expand this out and take a look at it here. But this right here gives you a basic site if you look at the template. You see, it, it already has several images. It already looks good. Let's just say I'm going to continue and I'm going to build this particular template out. So right now, this is going to go through. It's going to load the template. It's going to load all the pages and then make this website available. So right now, this is just sort of the main page here. But what I'd like to do is kind of go back real quick and take a look here. Here we have uh, the website created. It has a home page and then it has a thank you page. So if we take a look at this, all we have to do is just look at this home page. Just think about this. If, if, if this right here, you can type in the name of the business right here. So this right here could be, you know, your A, A, B, C, oh, heating and cooling. Yeah, you know, if that's what you wanted to, you can sit back and get them set up. You can put any of the other information regarding the business on here. You can come over here and put in their phone number. If they wanted to, a couple of bullet points here about what they do. You see what I'm saying? The template is already there. All you have to do is fill in. Maybe, you know, you don't want this one. You can just simply delete that one and put in these two bullet points. So you come here and you, once you're done, you simply click save. And then whenever you're done saving, you can simply click on this. And at this particular point, now there's an ABC heating and cooling website that you can show the particular customer of the small business. Hey, here's an example of a site that we can build for you that shows you, you know, all the services that you can provide that basically answers everybody's questions for you and shows you all the information about your particular business. So we'll do that for you for a thousand, two thousand, five thousand bucks. I mean, it's really up to you how much you charge them for this. But once they have a website, now they have a point of presence that once they add that to their Google My Business, will then increase their Google ranking. So this right here is a great service that High Level offers. It doesn't cost you as the agency owner anymore to sit back and offer them one website, two, five sites as different templates maybe. Maybe you can build out, if you're dealing specifically with the heating and cooling niche, then you, can, you might sit back and build out a template for HVAC companies and you might have you know template one, two, three, or four and they can pick between these particular templates, it's up to you. Or you can simply use the, the templates that are inside of high level. It's completely up to you, but building a website should be quick and easy and should be an easy sell to sort of get your foot in the door of the company to help start selling them other services that the small business owner may not know that they even need to help solve those pain points. Again, we're talking about pain points that, you know, it hurts every time they think about that. You know, when you talk about a small business owner, if you've never talked to somebody that has a website or maybe they don't have a website, they sit back, if you ever talk to them about it, here's their demeanor. You go, you know, Mr. Business Owner, you realize you never had a website, right? <sighs> yeah, I realize that. I've always meant to get back around to that. That's their demeanor. That's a small business owner demeanor. They know they should do it, but they don't have the time to sit back and implement it. Where if you sit back and you offer them, hey, Mr. Business Owner, I'm going to send you a link. Here's a link to, the, to a, either a free website that I'm going to give you. And that's a great way to open up doors for services, offer them a free website, and then charge them for hosting that particular website and maintenance of it, which could be 100, 200 bucks a month. So that's a, maybe a good way to get in the door, but they know they need it. 
and all you're doing is saying, I'm going to give it to you. Here's is, and then once they see that, they're more prone to sit back and say, yes, I know I need it. Let me do this now. That's a great design. I love the way that looks. Let me go ahead and agree to this and move forward and get my website up and going because I know I need one. So that right there, guys, is, a, is one way that you can get in an easy service that you can get in with small business owners to sit back and help sell them something that's going to help improve their business, improve their business ranking, and ultimately get them more customers, which is going to justify your cost that you're charging them every month. Now, some of the business owners, I'm going to take a little side note here. Some of the people I've talked to regarding high level and selling services honestly feel bad about charging small companies $100, $500, even $1,000 or more per month for these particular services. But what I want you to think about here is think about how much money you are making that business, how much time you are saving the business owner, how many different value adds you're giving that particular business owner by implementing these five or six basic services we're gonna talk about to the business owner and save them time, energy, and money every day. So I hope you can kind of see this benefit already. You know, with some of these things, people may already have you know a website if that's the case, if their website sucks, then maybe they could, they're could they paying you know, 100 200 or more dollars per year to have that website and they don't really like it, but they're leaving it up because they don't have time to sit back and redo it to do anything different. Well, if you come in and say, well, you can save that cost of whatever, you know, 200 bucks a year, I'm going to sit back and move it to here and it's all going to be included in the price that I charge you every month. So, and then I'm going to be responsible for updating, maintaining the website, hosting the website. You won't have to deal with any of it. You just simply give me a call if there's any changes you want to make and then our team will handle it. So that's how you would handle that particular situation. So hopefully that helps in you in understanding how you can sit back and sell these particular services inside of high level. Now, I'm gonna switch gear to the fourth service inside of high level that you can sell. Now, this is a service that sort of bolts directly on to the website feature that you've already sold. Now, it does. this feature doesn't depend on whether or not they have a website in high level or a website outside of high level. It doesn't matter. And I'm going to kind of show you why when we go through here and I show you the example inside of high level later. What you want to do here is sell them what's called a website chat widget. Now, you might have seen this on different sites where people might go and visit a particular site. And if they visit a website and they try to search for something, some websites are very poorly designed. To be quite honestly, they suck. You go there, you can't find any information. It's preloaded with a bunch of stuff that means nothing, that answers zero questions to the consumers. And then while on the website, the consumer or the customer may have a question, they may want to raise their hand and say, well, do you do this? You know, do you do that? Well, there's no way without a website chat widget for a consumer on your website to interact and communicate with a company other than having a chat widget sort of built in. Now, this right here is the website chat widget, again, is a feature that most companies charge on the low end. Like I've seen, seen them as low as like 50 bucks a month for like super cheap crappy ones to $500 plus a month for this one feature, giving them a chat widget or the ability for them to interact with the customers on the website. So this right here is another great feature that you can add. If you're going to give them a website or sell them a website cheap, you can say, hey, I tell you what, we have another option, another feature that can bolt on or communicate with your existing website that allows customers to communicate with you directly from the website instead of calling you because nobody wants to call you. Most people nowadays want to either text, communicate via a chat widget because they just don't want to deal with the sales process of having to call somebody or call somebody and have to leave a message. They much rather just chat with somebody and if they can get a response on the chat widget or their website, then they can simply respond, communicate with you. If you can answer all of their questions, then the consumer will choose you and purchase and even schedule an option to, you know, to buy your services or schedule an appointment for your services all inside of that same chat, chat meeting or chat time. So, this right here is very important that you not lose customers because if somebody goes and they go on Google to search for your particular business, you can almost bet they're going to click on the website feature before they actually sit back and call you or communicate with your company. If you have a website, they're going to click on the website. They're going to look at your website. They're going to look at all the services you have. You know, does your website look professional? Do you provide the services that they're looking for? You know, maybe you have a pricing tab on your website. I don't know. You know, that, that's going to be completely up to you of whether or not your customer wants to, to put that out there. But having a little chat widget that pops up, and I'm going to show you what this looks like inside here, is really beneficial and key when it comes to communicating with a particular customer and getting instant customer feedback while they're on the site. So let's go ahead and see, take a look at how High Level implements this inside of here. So if we take a look at this particular site, so I'm actually going to go back to the websites. 
Now, this particular company right here, this demo account I'm in right now, is not a healing and cooling company. It's actually a marketing agency demo account that I have. So right now what I want to do is I'm going to open up this particular website and I'm going to sit back and just simply click on the home page and open up the home page. And when they open up the home page here, notice, look at this right here. You get this little chat widget over here. And right now you can kind of adjust. One of the nice things I'm going to show you all the cool features that high level has regarding this. But you can you can have the ability to, to, to move this chat widget around anywhere on the screen here that you want. But notice this little chat widget. Hi there, have a question? Text us here. So they click on this and they open it up and they give a name, they give a phone number, and they give a message. This right here is a great way to engage the customer on the website and be able to sit back and get information from them, at least get their name and phone number. Again, once you get their name and phone number, you can always have a workflow or an automation behind the scenes of high level to follow up with them to see about getting them and, and uh, getting the schedule and booking a service with you and so forth. So this right here is a great way to do that. Now, let me show you some of the options that high level has. So inside of here, under the chat widget, one of the new features that High Level has is that you can, well, and I just, I created a whole other video about this on my channel, so you can take a look at it about, you know, creating custom chat widgets, but High Level now has the ability to have multiple chat widgets on your website and assign a chat widget per website or funnel if you have multiple brands and so forth. But what I want to do here is basically just open up one of these and just kind of show you some of the nice cool features that this chat widget has. So here you've got multiple different styles. For instance, if you take a look at the photo here, you can have the photo included or not. You can change this little icon right here. You can click on this button, that button. You can change the way it looks and customize it. You can change the theme. Like notice this is kind of a brown color. What if I want to make it blue? What if I want to make it green? Notice that this little dot changes automatically with the pre-built colors that are already included. So it gives you a lot of ways to customize this. You can change the text message that you see here. So instead of saying, hi there, have a question, you might be able to say, hello, this is ABC Heating and Cooling. Do you have an emergency or would you like to schedule a service call? And you can kind of have that be your first up front. And all you're trying to do is engage the customers. Again, the chat widget is there to engage the customers on your website. They're not on your website just to look around. They're on your website because they found you some way, shape, or form because they need your service, period. So here are some of the nice things that you can do. You can customize the greeting. If you look at some of the other customizations for the widget, here's where you can sit back and make the placement. So I can move it up. I can have it go to the bottom. I can have it go over to the right middle. I can have it come over to the right bottom. Now this right bottom is sort of the default is where a lot of chat widgets are. But if you already have something in this particular corner that gets loaded, then maybe you might want to move it to the left corner. Either way, you have a chat widget that pops up on the screen that engages your customers. You just have to sit back and have a message inviting enough to say, click here and send us a message so we can see if we can help you out. So right now, and again, if we take a look here, I'm gonna scroll back down, but there's multiple different things. You can customize the way this chat window, chat window looks. You can simply customize, you know, do you have a question? The intro message, this message at the top. You can add an email field if you want to add the email field, maybe get their phone number and their email address. You can do that as well. You can customize this little send button. There's so many things you can do on this, but ultimately this right here is worth hundreds of dollars per month by itself as an individual service. Now, we're on service four of what I'm going to be six in this particular video, but you can already see as you start adding these value added services together, these things stack up. And now you can see why charging somebody $500 a month for all these is super cheap for these companies. $1,000 a month could be super cheap for these companies. And all you need to do is find one, one of these services that your customer needs to get your foot in the door. And once you get your foot in the door and start providing value for that particular service, now you can start cross-selling or selling the other services that you have as additional benefit because now the customer sees the value that you have, which is the one feature that they're using. So this is just a great way to sit back and, and to add value to businesses. I'm not gonna save any of these settings, but the chat widget is a great way to sit back and add value. Again, you can simply have this on their site, people communicate with them, and basically all this does from a technology perspective is creates a, a chat, uh, a text message communication back and forth. So the high level system will text the customer, hey, I saw you call, blah, 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 you know, how can we help you? And up to that particular point, it is a manual process. Here's where I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you here. I'm gonna give you a solution for this, by the way. Hang on there in the video and I'm gonna give you a solution for this. But if right now this is a manual process, so once a customer sends a message, it does require the owner to respond if it's a custom message. Now, could you have workflows that can automate some of the messages? Yes, you can, and I'm gonna cover that a little bit later on here. But ultimately, the chat widget by itself is a manual process. The consumer contacts the owner, the owner then responds back. Now here's the cool thing about this is you know this happens sort of in real time. 
So if the owner's available, then great. If not, then the owner actually has a mobile app, which again, it's a back-end benefit to the client, that the customer that you're selling, that there is a mobile app called Lead Connector that you can give them for free that allows them to see all of this information in their account, all from their mobile phone. But this isn't a primarily selling service. It's a back-end benefit to getting your service. So if you sell them their services, then you can tell them, hey, I have a mobile app that you can access all of this stuff on your phone, in the field, in real time, and I'm gonna show you how to use, utilize that. That's an additional benefit that you can sort of kind of uh, put in the in the back and let them know once they agree to one of the services, but it's not a primary selling service. It really doesn't solve a business problem like some of the services I'm mentioning here. Because right now, if you're selling a service, you wanna solve a business problem. That's why a small business company is gonna to wanna to do business with you. That's why they're gonna to wanna to buy your service because you're helping with the pain point. You're solving, you're helping them reduce the pain in their particular business. That's what you're doing. So let's move on to our next one. So the final, not the final, the fifth one here from the, what we've got, the fifth one that we're gonna be dealing with is AI, artificial intelligence. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna build upon the last one I just talked about with regards to the website chat widget. Now, High Level has integrated, they're, they're hopped on board the AI train you know, for a while now, for over a year. They've, they've hopped on here with the artificial intelligence and they're continuing to make their platform better and more capable of utilizing artificial intelligence inside of their platform to help small businesses get more customers and become more efficient. So right now you've probably heard of things like AI chatbots. You know, that's a big buzzword that's going on right now is, hey, how can we sell? You know, there are businesses out there right now that are just selling AI chatbots and that is all they do. They sell AI chatbots they don't sell anything else. They're selling artificial intelligence or artificial, you know, AI appointment setting bots. You know, get ten appointments per day with our appointment setting bot without ever having to hire us, a, 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 you know, a person to do so. This right here is sort of the big trend that you see out there right now. But I'm not going to get into how all of that stuff does it on here. You know, not in detail at least. But what I want to do is just at least let you know that AI is included inside of the high level platform, and it is also a value added sell that you could sell to a business owner. So. Let's take a look at some of the features that we've already talked about. Missed call text back, reputation management, you know, websites, which not so much with AI, but the website chat widget, yes. All of these three things communicate with customers in some way. So if we could have artificial intelligence help us with this, then this would be really great. So let's go ahead and just kind of start from the very beginning when it, with regards to AI. So with the missed call text back, high level has the ability to include artificial intelligence inside of our workflow automations. So for instance, whenever you get a missed call text back, if you, you can actually use a workflow to respond to those particular people and then use artificial intelligence as a way of talking to somebody and completely in conversation with an owner using that missed call text back, getting them to book an appointment. Because ultimately, if you are a service-based company, then your goal is to book an appointment. You know, if your business is something else, then ultimately most businesses are dealing with services. So the whole goal of it is just to get them to book an appointment. Once they book an appointment, then everything else after that is golden. They book an appointment, they come in, and as long as your business does a great job and then does follow up, that customer can then be a customer for longer, which means they're gonna come back and spend more money with you. So AI can be used with a missed call text back. AI can be used with review management. So let's just say somebody goes through and you have a workflow with reputation management, and they send out and you get all these reviews. Remember we talked about like you can get 600 reviews per month. Well, one of the things that Google likes is Google likes for the owner to respond to every customer review that's given because it shows Google that you're utilizing their platform and that you appreciate the customers leaving you a message. How much time do you think it would take to, to send out and leave 600 custom individual messages for people every single month? Think about that. I'm going to move on. But right now, it's going to take a while. It could take a day, a full business day, responding to 600 people. And not only that, it's going to make you cross-eyed whenever you sit back and respond to that every single month. Well, what if I told you that inside of uh, High Level, you can actually use AI to automatically respond and leave review requests to all of those reviews that people leave you. So you, you as a business owner never have to respond to a request. What benefit would that be? What is a full day's worth of your time to respond to those requests worth? Just think about it. Just think about it here. I'm not giving a number. I'm not giving a number, but just think about it. How much is that worth to you? To sit back and, and not have a whole day or more of responding to all of those reviews and knowing that 
It's automatic. It's automated. It's done automatically and you don't even have to worry about it. Your customers get the request. They respond to the request. They leave you a review request. They leave you a Google review. You, you know, an hour later or four hours later, whatever you want to program, the, Google, the high level system leaves a review to that request and it's done for you automatically and the business owner never knows anything about it. They just know that it's done and it increases your Google rankings. Beautiful, right? But you need artificial intelligence to do that. It's another added service that you can provide to customers. Now, let's just look at the one that we just spoke about, which is the website chat widget. So the website chat widget is not unlike the same type of technology or communication as the miscall text back because it creates a text message, except this text message really just happens at the website level and not at the phone call level, if that makes sense. So really, you can kind of see if you saw that how it could work with miscall text back, the AI system works very similar to the website chat widget and responding to messages and so forth. Now, here's the one great thing that high level is included in the ability of their artificial intelligence systems. They have allowed you as the business owner to program the AI bot with all the questions and answers that somebody may have regarding your business or your service so that whenever somebody asks that question, the AI system will be able to respond with the correct answer the way you want it to respond it to. Sounds cool, right? So this right here is how High Level has built the AI system. They built it, they call it conversational AI. I'm not gonna go into detail. You can watch the other video on my channel regarding conversational AI where I went all over this and just kind of went in depth about all of it here. You can go nuts and crazy with it, but right now you can use AI inside of High Level to solve several different business problems. And yes, you can actually use it as an appointment setting bot. So you can have the AI chat widget respond to landing page requests. You can have it a separate phone number that you send out for marketing that you might have people call or communicate with you about. And you might wanna use AI to deal with that and save all the time and trouble of having an appointment setter inside of your system, schedule appointments or have VAs or anything like that, VA meaning virtual assistants, do all this stuff for you. So you can have AI do all of this stuff for you inside of the system, which is phenomenal, it's crazy. There is, I will let you know this right here, there is a little bit of an added cost to that. A small cost that you have to pay from high level, but it's well worth it when you use AI to communicate with things. So right now, before I move on to the sixth thing, I do wanna kinda of show you how high level, sorry about that, how, how high level implements this. So let's hop over here. And we're going to uh, go over to uh, when it goes to the um, AI. So we're going to go to uh, our settings. And here we're going to simply uh, come down to our conversational AI area. Now, this right here is where all of the conversation AI settings take place. If you don't know, I am kind of skipping several things here. Please go watch the other conversational AI. I'll try to link it up in the video here so you can click on it. But go watch the other one because there are some other pre things that you have to do, especially if you're on the Agency Pro plan. Because if you're on the Agency Pro plan, you can make money off this feature. So not only can you charge the customers for this service every month, you're actually making money off every time they use the service. Kind of crazy. Go watch the other video here. I don't have time in this video to go over that. So here, this is the basics of how you can do this. You can turn it on. You can have it into suggested mode or fully auto mode. You can sit back and choose all of these different, if you want to have it to respond on Instagram, your Facebook, if you want to have a chat widget, if you want to have all these other you know, ways that customers can communicate with you, you can have it automatically respond. Here's where you can sit back and once you actually have it programmed, you can actually test it here, like give it questions and answers and test it. This right here is how you do all the bot training. So this right here is where you can put in like maybe the website URL or maybe you have a Google document with all of the questions and answers in it. You can put that URL in here and have the bot learn from that like learn the questions, learn the answers and things like that. And it even has a lot of the configured intents, which allows you to sit back and um, edit prompts. So you can edit the prompt as, uh, as far as, you know, getting into real good detail because high level does use chat GPT for as the basis for all of its AI. So you can actually edit that. You can edit the appointment booking bot. So one of the things I like about this is you can actually, if you wanted to, you can actually turn on the appointment booking inside of the bot and have it book the appointment for you. You can actually pick a calendar inside of high level that you wanna have those appointments booked to. Now, if you don't want it to sit back and do all that, you can click on this little button right here that just says don't book appointment, only send the booking link. This right here is really good if you don't use high level for your appointment booking. Let's just say you use another third party calendaring system for booking, then this is where you'd wanna select this option and have AI just send people over to that booking area in order to book an appointment. But this right here are all the things that you can do uh, with high level with regards to AI inside of the high level system. That again, it's another value added service that you can provide that's gonna bring the, the small business owner more customers and more value, in which case you can charge them more money every single month. So 
those are the top five that I actually had uh, the original video to be included with. But in the very beginning, I told you that I lied and that five wasn't going to be the number. It was going to be six. Well, there's also another particular service that you can benefit. It really depends upon your customer and client, but I felt it was worthwhile to actually share with you. And that is social media management. What business out there right now doesn't have some kind of a social media platform, doesn't do some kind of social media posting, social media engagement, something of that particular nature? Well, guess what? If they need that, then who's actually creating the content? And if they're creating the content, who's posting the content? And if they're posting the content in the future, who's scheduling that content? And if they're scheduling that content, what content system are they using to schedule all of that? So right now, these are four things already that people are doing like somebody has to create the content somebody has to get it posted somebody has to schedule it somebody has to use a software platform or pay for a software platform to do it and then pay for these other people to create the content schedule and post it that right there is an opportunity high level already has something called the social planner built into its platform that does all of that it has ai built directly into the social planner so you can create content you can create images using that and if you're interested really in detail about how to do that just check out the other social planner video on my website i kind of go deep into that to show you how to utilize all that but this video is about what services you can sell to a small business and how you as the agency owner can start making money from small businesses using some basic services that high level has to offer so right now let me at least show you and uh, take you in here about how we can deal with this so let's go ahead and go into our marketing is this where it is so sites where is that Thought it was under marketing here. Here we go, marketing. I was right the first time. So sorry about that. So right now, here's the social planner. And if you look at the particular social planner, this right here, I'm gonna, I may very well hop into, let me hop into another sub account right here that will actually have a little bit better because I don't have, in order to use the social planner, you have to connect all your social media accounts to it in order to really see it. But right here is just an example of what the social planner looks like. Right here is, uh, at least with me, here's all the social media accounts. You can sit back and add an account. Here's all the accounts that you can add in here. So we have Google, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn. We have X, we have TikTok, we have Pinterest. All of these are social media accounts that can be connected inside of the high level platform. So once you have these connected and you actually have a connection to that particular platform, you will see them here. You will see all their posts scheduled. I don't really utilize this one for this, so sorry, it might be a bad example, but I want to show you, this is what you can do. Can you create a new post? Yes. So you can create a new post. You can upload actually multiple posts from a CSV file. So if you know how to create uh, multiple posts, like using AI and Canva, connecting it together and you have a spreadsheet of like 100 posts, you can upload all of those at one point. You can take a look at the social media, uh, social planner template. So very similar to the website templates we showed you earlier. This right here has a lot of different um, areas. Let's just say if you're in the home services area, like we had talked about here. So you can sit back and look at, uh, let's see if there's HVAC in here. We'll just look at HVAC. So here we see there's several posts that already have predetermined images that we can sit back and take a look at here. If we want to use this one, we can simply click on this and click continue. And we can utilize you know, any one of their particular templates in here. So these things are readily available to you. But let's just say you want to come in here and there is also content AI. So if you want to create a new post, you can come in here and create a new post. You would just choose an account. Again, you can select multiple accounts if you wanted to. It's not letting me because I need to reconnect them. So it might be a bad example, but you can choose multiple different social accounts. You can use content AI to create content for it and then create a couple of different variables for you to choose from. It can create images. It can do all of that stuff for you and so forth. But basically, I wanted to kind of quickly show you that that's a nut, just another service that if a company is already using, let's just say they're using Hootsuite you know, to schedule all their software, that could be 100, 150, 200 bucks a month. If they're paying for that software that they can cancel that software and then move everything to yours. And you combine all of their software costs, meaning you know, they don't have to pay for, uh, if it's a heating and cooling company, they don't have to pay for an answering service. They don't have to pay for social media content creation. They don't have to pay for posting. They don't have to pay for the software. They don't have to pay for scheduling anymore if they're using another calendar service. You, know, you can use high level for that. All of these different things, you could save them time, energy, and effort by combining all of that into one package that you're charging them 500, even a thousand bucks or more per month because you're adding value and you're saving them money by combining all of it into one particular platform that they can look at on their phone using a mobile app or come into the backend system and look at the desktop. So hopefully those are the six di different types of services that are really easy to sell and hopefully after looking at the video here, you see how, just how easy it is to talk to somebody, a business owner, and sell them on any of these particular services and then once you get your foot in the door to cross sell them on other services. So I really hope you found the video useful. If you did, hook me up. Leave me a like, leave me a comment, 
Um, I'm really trying to grow this YouTube channel, and they love it when the users interact with that. I would really appreciate it. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please click the subscribe button. Subscribe. I try to give as much value as I can to people. And if you are interested in using this particular platform, I offer coaching and a huge amount of bonuses and benefits if you sign up using my affiliate link, which is in the description below. Click on that link, get signed up, you get all the bonuses, benefits, coaching by me. I will help you get up and going started to make money in this particular platform. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.